All right, so today's job um, is on the 1960 Cadillac. What I had is I've had a, I believe a leaking wheel cylinder. And last time I drove it, I had this passenger side front brake was dragging. So my job today is to replace wheel cylinders and wheel hose, plus make sure that everything else is okay. So um, one of the first things that I did is I got in here, popped the drum off. That's simple enough, wheel and drum off. Um, just checking things out. There's quite a bit of dust in here, which you can see there and there. And um, I'm sure that's from the brake dragging. And one of the things I see is a little bit of sign of moisture. I actually expected to see more moisture than this on these guys. But, um, you know, with all that fresh dust, it may be hiding something. I'm, I'm going to do both sides. But uh, this has been my suspect for a while. And this is the one that heated up. So... I think that we probably have a sticking wheel cylinder just slightly like one of the two you've got two plungers here on either side and one side of the other is sticking and I, I would guess of course the side that leaks if it gets swollen and gets stuff in it they can they can tend to stick but so we'll clean it up there's still plenty of brake shoe material on here so I'm not worried about replacing the brake shoes I just want to make sure that we we solve the the leaking brake fluid as well as the um the, the brake drag so wheel cylinders and of course this hose um they were i had inspected those i lose track of time but it was like 10 years ago or whatever and i said well they're not that bad but i'm just gonna go ahead and put brand new brake hoses in it so yeah, i've got new brake hoses and a new wheel cylinder and hopefully after i do both sides we'll get that sorted out so anyways that's what our job today is all right so this is the old wheel cylinder i took out um, they are indeed very, very stuck. They're supposed to be very smooth and I can't push them with my thumb. So yeah, that's a, that's a dud right there. So definitely a problem. Um, just old, probably leaking combination of the leaking fluid and everything, but they're pretty stuck. Believe it or not, I think they still work a little bit. Um, but that's probably why it was dragging, hanging on. So it's good, good that, uh, you know, we found a problem, but it's not good to have a problem, but when you do, that you can find the, find why. So, if we get the, the new wheel cylinder to go in here, we'll have that, hopefully, without too much trouble. Continuing with the 60 Cadillac brake job, um, I've actually, it's been a week or so since I did the earlier videos where I did the wheel cylinders. Anyways, what I've got is the, originally, there's a, uh, single reservoir master cylinder, single system, one single brake line that ran the entire system. Uh, the problems with that particular type, which is what they ran on basically all cars until the early 60s, if you had a leak on any one of your brake components, then you'd lose all brakes. So the modern cars all have dual master cylinders. This is a this is the original master cylinders in here. I discovered when I was bleeding the brakes after my repairs that it was leaking at this seal right here where that sir clip is so rather than even mess with that i decided i was convert it to a dual master cylinder uh, this particular booster is a 62 cadillac booster is a single diaphragm and this is the smallest uh, master cylinder i could find and the reason that it has to be the smallest is this cruise control unit the one with the silver cap on it almost all the other cars um the the booster and master combos are too big if you go to dual for these cadillacs so um it's just a bit of an issue to deal with this is a 67 chevrolet i think i said bel air but I, many different models fit it um, and it has the ports on the correct side the the cadillac uh masters from 62 63 the ones that are closest in model year actually have ports that are on the inside and interfere with that cruise control unit so anyways this is a 62 cadillac booster with a 67 chevrolet although it could be other models 67 chevrolet uh dual reservoir drum brake master cylinder and it all fits in so anyway there it is we're making progress i've got mayani's going to help me bleed the brakes in a little bit i got her up dressed so she'll do be my push release and i'll be the opening and closing of bleeder so there it is all righty so yeah i finished up the brake job on this thing um i've taken it out for our test drive everything seems to work all right on it Oof. there it is so it's all done and in place we basically have 
uh, new master cylinder, both both wheel cylinders, both brake hoses, plus a ton of bleeding. I ended up using quite a bit of brake fluid, more than I should have, but it's all together. We safely got a dual master cylinder unit in it, so hopefully it stops now better or will be safer we know it's we know it stopped pretty good so took it out on the road it did all its things so yeah anyways got the job done so there it is boy that hood's good and heavy you know i dropped one of those on my hand one time you talk about something that makes you squeal a little bit the best part was is that it was actually on the side and uh i couldn't reach the hood latch so i had to sit there for quite a while with my hand stuck in the hood while it was closed anyways that's neither here nor there so finish up the video i'm sorry about it being a little bit on the boring side uh, a certain critic has told me recently that maybe i should hire ben stein to narrate my videos so that they're more exciting i don't know i thought that was I guess I'm not as funny as I should be. But anyways, it's entertaining to me. So, and a lot of these videos are primarily for my consumption anyways. They're not necessarily for everybody else. But anyways, there it is. It's done and completed the job. Alrighty, so here we are in the 60 Cadillac again. Um, finished doing the brake job. So, so we'll try it out. What's the best way to check brakes? Let's just go out and see if you crash into something. So let's try it out. This has always been a pretty sweet car. The other thing I actually fiddled around when I was when I was screwing around out here is that the horn was like making a really sick tone, like so. Hopefully, see now it it honks. Maybe not Cadillac-y honk, but at least a car honk sound. So that's pretty good, eh? So, anyways, what's also interesting um, on this, or interesting to me always, you've got look at your pattern there. I don't know if you could see it or not. It goes park neutral, then you get your two drive ranges low and then reverse at the far end. The early Hydromatics had reverse on the back end down there. And the even earlier ones, like on the 53 Oldsmobile, uh, it didn't have any park position at all. So we basically came to a stop and you didn't have a park. Um, so, but anyways, this one being fancy in 1960 and being a Cadillac, it has a park position and yeah, it was pretty good. So let's take them out for a spin and see what we can do. See if we can not run into stuff. I don't know how sometimes these oof, videos are a little bit long-winded, but I like them. And when I'm out away from home and missing everything, then uh, I like to have these videos because I can look at them when I'm in a hotel a thousand miles away from home. And it reminds me of the fun stuff that we like to do. So... Got some sunset going on behind me. Can't really get it. I don't have a very good film. Film. What's the film guy? Key grip? Is the key grip not doing his job? Anyways, uh, I really should have a backseat filmer, right? The people that do the the cool videos are have them in the back. Back. So maybe that's what. If I'm going to become a famous in Jakistan, anyways, I can't even get people in Jakistan to watch my programming. So, anyways. I need to get a back seat recorder. So, all my other ones, like I get Mayani to do it sometimes, but she ends up, she gets, loses focus and ends up taking a picture of the, of the floor mats. Not that I'm that much better than they are, but I do get a little bit more than floor mats. Oh yeah, the whole reason I'm supposed to be doing this is brakes, right? So let's try it, we're out here to the regular road. So let's try it out. We'll go backwards, make sure that we can, yeah, it stops. That's good. Plus that helps adjust the, the wheel cylinders actually. They adjust the, the self-adjusting wheel cylinders on drum brakes when you're going in reverse. When you make a stop like that, if they need to adjust, they'll adjust themselves. I should have shown you how I've done it. But anyways, there's little clickers in there and they, they make nice little, oh, that's how they adjust. So look at that, I can do burnouts on sand and gravel. Okay, okay. I need 40 acres to turn this rig around. I think that song was written. Ugh. Somebody like me trying to turn this honking car around. Okay, woohoo, okay. Yeah, you're not getting tire road, but you're getting some. 
to get some dirt road action. Alright. Nice little evening. Evening in Maine in the Cadillac. I should have Miss Daisy in the back seat. Is that right? Okay, let's try out a little. There. Well, they seem to stop anyways. Oh, they're supposed to have a real red sun tonight. They said something about forest fires out west, so I should tag Chad on this. I bet up his house. He always has really good sunsets. I'm kind of in the valley down here, so I don't get quite as good of ones, but I also get, I think, less people bothering me. He's up there and has pretty, pretty sunsets, but I think I've got a better valley for me. My temperament, I like to be a little bit more alone, so. But anyways, that is a cool sun. Coming in here, we got the old Railway Express in the 56 with his fixed dent, so. This was supposed to be a break video, wasn't it? And it ended up kind of just being a dissertation on the world. So there it is, the brakes work. Somewhat safer, we like to think. There it is success.